Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Anchors. I'm Henry. And I'm Irene. Once again, we're actually together. Scary. It's very scary. <laughs> we got some work done on the solar rack and more panels to put up. And Irene just discovered that we're having one more problem with the water system. So I'll have to deal with that this morning. Right. More fun. Yeah, because we got nothing else to do. Never. <laughs> Never. everybody it's Irene with Brainstorm Makers <sighs> I've been working outside with Henry a little bit but what I am trying to do right now other than not being eaten by bugs <laughs> is to get this greenhouse 100% stabilized <sighs> we have a friend who's going to take care of it for a few days and I really want to make everything as easy as possible because I really appreciate them taking the time out of their life to, you know, help us. 
So what we are going to do, what I am going to do, is I'm going to harvest a few things in here. I have a bucket here of uh, these are mocha, I think, and they're ready. I've just been holding them because, to be honest, I have a <laughs> drawer full of carrots in the kitchen, so I was trying to keep these as long as possible. But I don't want them to get past their best of use by date, and. I want to reduce the number of buckets that have to be watered. I'm going to be putting everything on automatic watering in the yard. There is a risk. The rodents could decide to munch everything. And yes, this is mochum. This is one of the things I don't like about wooden stakes. <laughs> it's sort of barely there. Now, in fairness, it's been used more than once, but still. Uh, I don't really like them sort of rotting away on me. Now, I noticed I, this morning when I was looking at this, I have a visitor in here. My suspicion is that this is a uh, a husk cherry. Therefore, I do not want to kill it because I already have one husk cherry that's coming up over there. And in my radish bucket, and I'm going to keep that guy, and I'm going to keep this guy too if I can, because I want to have a row of husk cherries down these two tables here to produce a really good husk cherry harvest this summer and fall. And we know that husk cherries are very susceptible to all kinds of bugs in the yard. And when we have a hailstorm, they unless you have them completely covered, they just really they don't recover well. So last year we had a combination of uh, problems with cucumber beetles and problems with ah, see, and there's a mochum too. <laughs> but that one's plastic, so it's not going away. Last year we had a combination of problems with cucumber beetles and hailstorms and I mean it was just one thing after another. So if I can grow husk cherries in here instead, I will be a very much happy, happier camper. I'm going to move this closer to the center of the container instead of being on the edge so that it can just kind of take over the world because they do they'll just sprawl and take over the world and all that kind of happiness so I thought this was going to be an empty bucket when I was done but I was wrong what I'm doing is I'm looking to see if it has any aphids right now it doesn't we've had a really big problem in here with aphids this year and uh, I'm just trying to get everything as set as I can. So I will move this guy. I'm gonna, I also need to harvest. I decided I'm going to harvest some of the potatoes I have in here. They were planted back in February, which means they've been in the buckets long enough. If they're going to produce, they've already produced. And I know that there's at least a couple of potatoes in the top there. Because when I dumped too much water in quickly the other day, I kind of sloshed some of the dirt out of the way and I had potatoes. So. I don't expect a lot. Oh, this is one other thing I have to do. <laughs> if you've been following us for a while, you know that we had exactly, exactly one carrot seed come up in this bucket when we first started. And it was this carrot in the middle. Well, now this carrot is huge. And it's got all these little babies around it that I want to give room to. but. I looked at the top of this yesterday and I went, uh, okay. So, <laughs> check that dude out. This is a Hercules carrot. <laughs> and it's obviously a very happy Hercules carrot. But it was the one and only carrot that came up from an old batch of seeds. So, 
yeah, <laughs> not bad. I think we'll probably uh, eat a bunch of carrots. <laughs> All right, one Hercules and a small pile. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, 15 of these guys. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take their pictures because they're too cute not to. I always forget to post stuff on Instagram. Mostly I forget until we've eaten something. And then, <laughs> yeah. Make sure I got a decent picture. I do. So that's a start. This is a batch of potatoes. These are Austrian Crescent, and they are doing pretty well. They do have more bugs on them than I would prefer. I will probably move those outside. I'm gonna just shuffle pots briefly here. I already have taken out uh, my oldest batch of broccoli that's been producing for us and the flowers. They've already gone out. So I have three buckets of Austrian Crescent over here that are not doing well. And uh, my belief is they've simply finished and it's time to harvest them. So that's what I'm going to do. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> you know, I need to clear out things. I need to you know, make things as healthy as possible. And we're just gonna do that. So, I'm gonna move all this down there. And, figure out some way to dump that out. Mm -hmm. 